Hey everybody, it's Eric Jensen. And Ali Bucket. We're with the Utah Home Guide team over at Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate. Just giving you guys an update, have some things we want to discuss about the conditions of the market right now. Yep. So in the last uh, 30 days, we've had about 1,400 closings in Salt Lake County. That's just residential units. That includes condos and, and single family homes. Does not include multifamily. Active right now, we have an astonishing 575 properties for sale. That's just ridiculous. I'm going to go active today. So, That's right. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Okay. Cool. Uh, under contract right now, there's twenty, just over 2,400 homes pending. That number's huge. That's a that's a good number, but the active number is rough. So I wanted to reference kind of a, a just a couple things about this is in Comet Heights because I live in Comet Heights, so I, I look at it a lot. And I just wanted to reference a couple of these properties list to sale price list to sold price. So a property that was listed earlier this spring for 475 sold for 500,000. You think, oh, that's a lot of money. Yes. Well, get this, a home listed for 500,000 sold for 572. That's a 15% gain. Increase. In, excuse me, increase in the list to sell. So. You know, and I'm looking at some of these and they're not all cash. I think some people have this misconception that, you know, people with cash are getting the deals. Well, there's still a ton of loans being done, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm looking at just one more, uh, listed at 525. I actually looked at this one with my family. It was on Catalina Drive, just east of 2300 East. List price 525, ended up selling for uh, 565. So that's, you know, 8% higher. Yeah, and we're seeing, you know, 8 to 10% increases mm -hmm. um, in this price. We are. To sold. Exactly. Yeah. So this is really interesting to follow, I think. Right. Allie, I want to talk a little bit with you about, is there a bubble? We don't think there's a bubble. Right. And there's several reasons for that. Uh, we have all these millennials that are in the market. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm working with a, a millennial couple right now. Yeah. Um, and it's tough, you know, they've got, they've got a great job, they've got a good down, but it's finding that uh, piece of property in that five to 600,000, and you think half a million dollars, they'd be able to find something. Oh, yeah. But they want specific areas in Salt Lake too. So, you know, it's, it's, it's tough to find that and it's very competitive for them. Very. Yeah. So as far as like why a bubble, why we think a bubble won't happen, what are your thoughts? Well, interest rates are still really good. Uh, the economy in Salt Lake is spectacular, number one. You know, so um, we're seeing a lot of influx and then we just don't have the inventory either. And lenders aren't doing what they did in, in mm -hmm. 08, don't they? Right. You know, it was just anybody and their dog could get a loan mm -hmm. and did. Uh, back then, yep. so regulations are tighter. So people, Way tighter. Are, people are really qualified when they go to put in an offer on a home. Yeah, they're very qualified. Yeah, and yeah, I mean the problem in 2008, 2009, the whole recession, really the housing industries, in my opinion, what caused it in large part. So the fact that people don't have these ARM adjustable rate mortgages that you know two or three points lower so they qualified right. on that payment back then and then all of a sudden rates go way up and and owners are like we we can't afford this yeah owners were upside down the minute they purchased a home right. which was just crazy it was but, sad yep it really was then you started seeing all the short sales and then eventually a lot of bank owned and it was just i'll take this market over that yeah personally you know it's really hard especially for first-time home buyers to go after property after property and not get it, it's, it's tough, yeah. really tough. But I'll tell you what's harder is when people are losing their homes. Yeah, we don't want to see an economy like that no. ever again. That was a lot. Yeah. yeah. That was a tough time. We want what's best for everybody. We do. Yeah. The real estate community and, you know, and we're, we're client focused and driven, we're not transaction focused. So, you know, we'll work hard for you. We'll, we'll put in the hours, we'll put in the time, we'll write how many offers we need to write to get you the right house and we really want to sell your house too. Yeah, right. yeah it, it's exciting you know, to, to get a listing right now. It's really exciting. We've got mm -hmm. this new one coming up on Bryan Street, mm -hmm. uh, 925. It'll go live today. Okay. And uh, we're having an open house uh, 
Friday night, or five to seven, sorry, five to seven. Uh, Saturday, 11 to four, and Sunday, 11 to four. A lot of coverage. A lot of coverage. We, we put our client up in a motel and just said, cool. you know, enjoy your time. and Good treatment. Um, we're gonna um, show us house. That's awesome. Yeah. What's the price? Uh, 650. 650. 650. That's a great location. Yeah. So it should sell fast. It should sell really fast. Awesome. There you go. Yeah, we, we love to sell fast. We also want to get our uh, sellers not just the most money, but the most favorable terms. Yeah, and often I think what people need to, to remember when they get a uh, an offer, it's not always the highest that's the best offer. Mm -hmm. You have to look uh, really hard, especially when there's, you know, our last listing, 43 offers came in. Okay. So it's a lot of sifting through those offers to find what's the best for the client. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we did. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend.